You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Man, this weekend, this video was posted on Instagram. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I saw it. Uh, and I said, my God, I've got to get this father on the show. He follows me on Instagram. Uh, I sent him uh, a DM. Uh, but first, just, just y'all have seen the video, but it is still shocking every time we see it. Uh, this crazy, deranged-ass white woman, the latest Karen. Watch this, y'all. Please. Show me this is my phone. Show me. No. You don't have to explain nothing to her. Take the case off. That's mine. You literally didn't get it back. Please. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No. Okay, then show me the. Show no. Me all my you get, get a life over yeah, there. No, What's on your phone? You, you, you better go use find find my iPhone. Go yeah, do that. Find my iPhone is off. Can, on that right no. No. You can't. No. I'm the manager of the hotel. I don't care. He will this right is my now. Son. Hey, Didn't you see me just come downstairs out of the man. fucking elevator? Hey, I'm trying to help, man. No, but you're not helping. I what am. What you mean is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle this no. situation. We, I'm, I'm my trying to has have... nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on in the lobby. Yeah, we're ready to have my phone. Then show me the proof. No. He's not leaving. Show me the proof. Hey, are you show kidding me? Show me the proof. You better get on. I need you away. Let's go, kid. I need you away. I'm sorry. Better get on. We have your, what you you see you away. see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta get on somewhere. No, please get my phone back. I can't. Well, I cannot. Please, please. Don't have my phone. Listen, get your and that was only one minute of the video. It's a much longer video that the hotel has. Keon Harold joins us right now. He is a musician. Uh, Keon, uh, welcome to Roller Martin Unfiltered. You doing, Roller? So this is so. How long did this encounter actually take place? It was probably it was probably a minute before I started recording, and it's probably maybe five minutes after it stopped. Because when she came at me, the, I guess the phone so, stopped recording. So, tell our folks what we didn't see, because we see her coming at you. What didn't we see? was my son and I, you know, um, we stayed up late at night after Christmas and we got up and I was like, you know what, son, let's go get some brunch. Let's go downstairs and get some brunch. So we come downstairs in the elevator. Um, we make these two quick little right turns and you're right in the lobby. The minute we got into the lobby, this person looked at us like, like we were red and she was a bull. Like she looked at my son and she pointed at him and she said, he has my phone. It's him. He's got it. Give me, give me my phone. And she went right to him. Um, and before that, I really couldn't believe it. Um, it was, I mean, seriously, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke. And then immediately, um, my instinct said, you know what, let me start recording because, because some things just get out of hand really, really quickly. You just never know these days. So I started recording and, and the, and the rest is what it is. Um, you know, so literally dealing with her telling you know they're wrongfully accusing my son he's 14 years old i mean that's that's that's, that's my boy my baby and you know literally treating him like he had no rights like they had all rights over him and i just wasn't okay with that at all i mean i've been all over the world with the best artists from jay-z to beyonce to rihanna to everybody um and i and, I, and i'm a, and i'm a whole man and i want my son to be that way and I just can't have anybody talking to him any kind of way and just disrespecting his property and just his person um, and his body. So I just wouldn't allow it to happen. Um, you know, after the video cut off, um, it went on for, like I said, maybe four or five more minutes of this person literally trying to get to my son, scratching me, taking him down. Like literally this person was was irate. I can't even make this stuff up. I mean, I'm still in shock about the whole the whole incident. And I mean, it's literally like a, I don't know. It's, I can't make up what it is. It's not now, like a was, movie. It's, go ahead. What was what was strange to me, Keon, was the manager acting like she was in the right. Um, he came. I mean, he was there with her and basically empowering her, enabling her to to basically, 
shake my son down for his phone, for his property. Um, and obviously, I paid for the phone, and no one else had the right to basically basically say, hey, boy, show me your papers. That's what it was like to me. Show me your papers. And it was just not going down with me. My son has his rights. My son, I want him to keep his dignity. Um, you know, because in America, the problem is, as as black people, as, as people of color, sometimes our dignity is cut in half, and we, we need to have whole dignity. And I just wouldn't allow them to, to just take it from them that easily in that way. Um, you know, the manager basically wanted to use his quote-unquote authority as a manager at the hotel to, te- to, to, to get my phone, to get my son's phone out of his pockets to give to this lady who literally was not even um, a patron at the time. Um, and I was I was a paying patron and and of course we heard you basically saying oh hell no don't you hand that phone over no. oh, not at all you're not getting this phone you know he doesn't owe you anything and you know no because it happens and it's been happening for for way too long and we all know it and the right. problem with the you know with this incident is that it is something that we see every day we see it all too often and you know, if I wasn't me, maybe it, this probably would have been swept under the rug as well. Nobody would have ever seen it if I hadn't videoed right. it. And then it would, have, it would have been another incident of somebody's, you know, going wild and getting away with it. So tell me this, Keon. Um, first off, um, were y'all there when the Uber driver came up with her phone? We were at the restaurant, like, at, at some point. Literally... I don't know if I've ever been in shock, but as I play this back, as as I go through day, you know, day to day, I think I was in shock um, because we were eating and, you know, literally I'm still, you know, just basically couldn't believe that this had happened. I mean, I'm a professional um, and my son is, is an amazing kid. We try to do the best for him um, and just incidents like that is just not what we do. And the fact that this actually happened in this establishment and it was basically empowered by the management, um, it, it, um, I don't know, it put me somewhere else. I'm still somewhere else when it comes, comes down to it. We were eating and we come back in and I guess she was gone, but she had come back um, to, I guess, call the Uber or something. Somebody brought, their, brought her phone back. I don't know what, what taxi company or Uber or Lyft, whatever it was, they brought it back and she got her phone. Um, to no apology um, to anything, um, to what had happened with my son. I mean, they totally disrespected my son um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a major way. And I just thank God that I was actually there to be with them. It's so often that the parent is not there with the child. If I had to come down a little bit later, I couldn't imagine what I'd have done if these people were on my son. Because I'm a big guy. I'm six foot, like 220, 230. And, you know... They really didn't care. They didn't hear anything that I had to say. As I told her, why don't you use the find my iPhone feature? Everybody uses that that I right. know when you when you lose your phone. That was not right. enough for her. I mean, um, no, here's the deal. I mean, I mean, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Was well, was hilarious, Keon. I, I when I was in Miami for American Black Film Festival, we were at a reception, uh, and that was a sister who who came there, and then she went, "Oh my God, I, I lost my phone," and so she was freaking out, and and I said. All you got to do is, here's my phone. I said, I log out. You put in your Apple ID, username, and then your account comes up, ping your phone. That's exactly what she did. Pinged her phone. The Uber driver uh, uh, brought her phone back. That, that's how it works. But what gets me is she never apologized. Uh, the hotel has said, uh, first of all, what was the name of the hotel? And Because the parent company has said they have reached out to you. Uh, and so that's first. Uh, no apology uh, from her. Did the manager ever apologize? No. Um, as, as, as far as, like, all of that to me is, 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 is pretty blurry because it happened so fast and so got it uh, it's, it's 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 like i don't i don't like no it was it was a blur and so much so that so it's it's, it's still unbelievable man so so the hotel says they the hotel company says they've reached out to you have you talked to them and what is next has the woman been identified what do you want to happen next 
Because she the, she assaulted you and your son. Absolutely. So um, my attorney, um, Ben Crump, and we basically are, you know, filing charges and um, trying to see what's next in the process um, legally. And you hold know, on, no, 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 hold on, you, just, you, hold on. you said, you said, you said, Keon, you said filing charges. Has she been identified? Identified. Say it again. Actions break it up. Has she or has she not been identified? She's been identified. Got it. Okay, got it. Got it. Uh, so, so, and so y'all are going to file charges against her for assault against you and your son. Yeah. I didn't hear. Say it again. I'm sorry. Yes, we, we intend to file charges. Well, uh, Keon, this is, uh, it, 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 look, the reality is you're absolutely right. Had you not pulled your camera out and recorded it, it would not have gotten this attention, which is one of the reasons why I keep telling our folks, look, we got, look, this shouldn't have to be the case. You've got these crazy deranged uh, folks out here. Uh, a lot of folks, uh, these, a lot, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, folks out there, white women and others who are challenging black people, as you said, demanding papers. And the reality is uh, we have just, we, we must stand our ground and assert our rights. You did the right thing uh, by uh, fighting for your son and making it perfectly clear you don't have to bow down to anybody who is demanding you uh, turn over your phone as if you were a thief. And that's exactly what this woman tried to do. Absolutely. And, you know, at this point, it's, it's, it's been too long. And we're in 20, going into 2021. We've had one black president. We're going to have, a, 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 we have president-elect, um, vice president-elect um, right now. Um, right. As you know, and, you know, at this time, it's time for change. It's time for, you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you look like, to be treated as a full-fledged whole person. Um, we, we, we're not three-fifths of man anymore. And the idea that we need yep. respect, we need respect, our kids need respect, our young black boys, you know, need to be, need to feel whole and feel protected wherever they go, no matter you know, yep. being, you know, fa falsely identified as, you know, whatever, a thug or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. I deserve to be here. You know, I pay my money to be in that establishment. We deserve to be there. We didn't yep. deserve to be treated um, wrongly. We didn't deserve to be um, categorized as, as somebody who needed to offer up our property just because somebody asked for it. You know, it's time out for that. Um, you right. know, and, and and to me, it's 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 more than it's more than apology, more than apology. Now it's it's about change. Right. You're right, Keon. We appreciate it, my brother. Thanks a lot. Give our best to your son. Thank you so much for talking to me, Roland. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Candace, I want to go to you quickly, go to my panel quickly before I go to uh, a quick break and then do some uh, interviews here with some folks here in Albany. Candace, this is where. Lawyers, Ben Crump is the attorney. This is where you take folk and they got to pay for what they did to him and his family. That's right. And, you know, one of the, the biggest takeaways, too, that I get from this is that here was a father and a son who were going to have a nice brunch. And then all of that was displaced by this. And this is what that young man is going to remember when it comes to Christmas 2020. All that we're doing was going downstairs to eat. And then this is what happened. So yes, this is more than just an apology. This is somebody that has to pay because this is a woman that was trying to steal this young man's phone because that phone did not belong to her. Then she libeled him by calling him a thief. And then as, as, um, as he said, as the father said, I mean, there's just, he was in shock. So you have a lot of emotional distress that was there. Civil rights violations by the, by the hotel. I mean, the list goes on, you know, Benjamin Crump, took this case for a reason. Let's put it that way. To simply say, I'm sorry, that's right, charge her ass as quick as possible. Absolutely. And I think well, those charges, hopefully also the judge or whoever the, uh, the finder of 
fact is in this case starts to you got to start having some harsher penalties as a deterrent so folks will look up and say you know what maybe it's not a good idea like the central park case uh, i don't know if that's been adjudicated yet or if that's been completed and what happened uh with her but slapping okay, folks okay, on okay, the so wrist okay, for making a mistake right um is not going to get it done uh, as candace uh, uh, mentioned you have to do something that's going to deter people for you got to change behavior. And we talk about this obviously with police shootings as well. Until you change behavior, these kind of things are going to persist. And I'm glad he took video because without the video, everything would be different. Oh, I never said that. Oh, it didn't go down like that. The video speaks for itself. Great evidence. I'm glad Mr. Crump has taken the case. Bottom line, Rena, I want them to embarrass the hell out of this woman. And to, for the next person who thinks about doing that, they go, damn, I might be on national television if I act a fool. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for her name for a while, so I don't know where it is yet. I'm, I'm looking forward to it coming out because she looks like just sort of any normal woman that you would run into in New York City, sort of. And, and I think one thing that grabbed me as a communicator is the nonverbals. And right when the video started, within a first few seconds, you can see her lightly put her hand on the, the shoulder of the manager, sort of saying, that's him. And to me, that sort of act of her putting her hand on the, the shoulder of the manager, who she yep. probably didn't know before, it's sort of a, a is that is that nonverbal that sort of says, hey, of course it's him. He's black. I mean, it's it's sort of that that kinship. You're white. You get my plight. He's black. It must be him. And this is the problem. And so this is, um, yeah, I couldn't agree more <laughs> with uh, Mr. Brown there. I mean, I think here we are. This is about changing the way people see black people. This is really yep. uh, about white people and how they see black people. And then even in white people, how they see brown people like me. I mean, my brother is far darker in complexion than me and has been mistaken for somebody black before. And that it doesn't matter because yep. this is the thing. It's like if your color is not white, are we not right? Are we are we suddenly thieves because we're darker than you because we have melanin in our skin? Are we suddenly like predisposed to to committing a crime like that, especially a petty crime? And just wild to me that this woman yep. and and she clearly was suffering from some mental illness. I really do. She was very agitated and um, no, and in a no, way that was no, to me no, not normal. No, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't giving mental it. illness. It's some, it all. No, 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 <laughs> damn that. It's some ignorant, crazy ass white people out here and white <laughs> women who act a fool. Like the that. woman in central. No, 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 no. I've seen this too many cases. It's folks with privilege. The woman who called on the barbecue uh, in Oakland when you yeah. had the woman who the brother was barely parked into the median and she called the mm. cops. The white woman who called uh, on, on the black woman with the lemonade stand. I could go, the white woman with with the UPS driver, the brother's wearing a damn brown uniform and says mm -hmm. UPS. The white man uh, with, the, with the FedEx driver. I can go on and on and on. It ain't mental illness. White supremacy is not mental illness. It's white supremacy. And that's what that was. Pure and simple. I, I do agree. All right, folks, I do I agree with that <laughs> I, 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 but, I, but I'm not going to just let them slide with mental illness. I'm not saying no, it needs to be medicated. Some, I'm no, no, she had no, a crazy no. Look in her eyes. It needs to be no, 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 no. It needs to be adjudicated. Throw her punk ass in jail and make Definitely. her pay up for assaulting that man uh, and his son, uh, Michael. Well, guess what? Guess what? And make her ass real famous. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.